So we've got our Mercury 3-tune controller installed. It's connected to a Titan 912L actuator. And we're completely operational. You see there's nothing connected, no peripherals connecting to the left-hand side of the board. Even without any monitor entrapment devices, this unit's operational. It is UL325 compliant, even without any external entrapment sensors. And we'll get to those here in a minute. We can still connect those if we want. But right now, let's talk about adjustments on the board. So right now our dial is in the run position. If we turn it around over here, we already talked about learning motor one and learning motor two. It's what got us to this point. Now our next setting is force, FC. And right now the force level is set to a level two. Using the left and right buttons, we can adjust the force level all the way from zero up to five. So the higher the number, the more force it will exert before it senses an obstruction. The lower the number, the less force or the more sensitive it will be when it encounters an obstruction. So we can adjust this to whatever level we feel is gonna be right for us. So I'm gonna let set mine to a level three. It's gonna flash a few times and it's set. I don't have to press okay or anything to confirm it. It self sets. And so now I'd run the gate and I'd obstruct the gate as it's running and see how much force it exerts before it does stop and reverse. Of course, if it stops and reverses twice, it's gonna go into hard shutdown and I just hit the stop clear button to reset that. Now, we want that force level set to be strong enough to work reliably in, in all weather conditions, when it's cold, when it's windy, but we don't want it set so strong that it would be um, uh, dangerous at all, okay? So we want sensitive but safe, strong, reliable. So that's your force setting. Then we also have our close timer adjustment. So right now I have my close timer adjusted for 35 seconds. I can take that down to whatever number I want. So if I push it to zero, that turns the close timer off. Okay, so if I go to zero, boom, close timer's turned off, flashes a few times, it's set. Or if I want a five second to close timer, boom, right there, it's gonna flash a few times, it's set. You don't have to press okay, or there's no confirmation for this. You just adjust it and it's done. If this were a dual gate system, I could turn over here to leaf delay and I could adjust a delay time between my two gate leaves. And then my final position is my run position. And that is really all you have to adjust on a Mercury 310, 50, Mercury 310 controller. Uh, it's that simple, it's that easy.